For boss damage, which linear fusion rifle should you be using? In this video we will test every exotic and legendary linear fusion rifle. I will analyze the total damage and DPS as well as burst damage and DPS for all of them. We will also answer the big question. Are accelerated and liquid coils worth it? And should you get a charge time masterwork on your LFR? Hang tight and let's check out the results. First we will start with the exotics. Arbalest. RB is an extremely versatile weapon. It gets bonus damage from the perk Disruption Break and so it mainly excels in high difficulty content like Grandmasters due to its intrinsic anti-barrier capabilities and its ability to one-shot any elemental shield. Unfortunately, it is not a good option for boss damage, but can be used as a secondary weapon especially in the Ghosts of the Deep dungeon bosses. Lorenz Driver Lorenzo was a pain point in the Crucible and IMO it still can be oppressive in a good player's hands. The damage bonus comes from its exotic trait Lagrangian Sight, while active it provides a 50% damage bonus for 30 seconds. I believe this is one of the highest damage buffs that has also the longest duration. The damage bonus activates on the third telemetry pattern pickup. Slipper Simulant Who doesn't like this weapon? Its shots over penetrate targets and can get reflected from hard surfaces for some extra damage. It doesn't have many ammo reserves, but that doesn't stop it from scoring a decent amount of total damage output. Still, you can pair it with a special secondary weapon in longer damage phases. I believe it has one of the highest burst damage and DPS compared to any other weapon in game currently. The Queen Breaker. For how bad this weapon performs, it's a miracle that it can kill guardians so easily. I guess vandals know the way of using it effectively. For sure, a weapon that is not worthy to occupy either your exotic or heavy weapon slot. Bungie could definitely make a rework on this weapon, at least on its weapon perks, which are quick draw and hip fire grip. Moving on to the legendary weapons, but before that, we need to determine what is the best magazine for you to use and whether or not you should pick a charge time masterwork. Liquid coils provide a roughly 2% damage buff with the cost of increased charge time, and accelerated coils roughly 2% damage reduction for a decrease in charge time. Both are fairly close to total damage output. Liquid are good for burst damage, while accelerated come on top in both total DPS and burst DPS. In many cases, with Liquid you will end up shooting one shot less than with Accelerated, which will end up being a bigger reduction in damage than their 4% difference. With that being said, in my opinion, Accelerated Coils are better because 2% less of something is better than 2% more of nothing. But feel free to let me know in the comments below if you have a different opinion. A side effect that these two have and isn't noted anywhere is that both accelerated and liquid coils affect the total reserves the weapon can hold. I don't know if this is intended or not, but it happens. In regards to the charge time masterwork, it works like accelerated coils, so we get a decrease in damage and a decrease in weapon reserves for a decrease in charge time. Two combinations can happen here, either paired with accelerated coils for even faster charge time or with enhanced or ionized magazine for an increase in mag size. Combining charge time masterwork with accelerated coils feels like having diminishing returns. The damage is getting reduced by close to 5% while the reduction in charge time is barely noticeable. With that in mind, I suggest you pick Enhanced or Ionized Magazine. So to conclude this topic, in my opinion, I believe that you either have accelerated coils with let's say Handling Masterwork or Enhanced or Ionized with Charge Time Masterwork. There is not really a bad choice. Basically, don't choose a perk that will cack one of your weapon traits or choose a perk that will boost one of your weapon traits. For example, on my Cataclysmic, because it rolls with 4 times the charm, in order to get the most out of the perk, I need a mag size of 6, and so I selected Enhanced Mag. And because I need to swap through all my weapons in quick succession to trigger bait and switch, I chose 
handling as the masterwork. Speaking of which, Cataclysmic is considered one of the best linears out there because 4 times the charm gives the weapon sustained fire and free ammo, and on the other hand, Bait and Switch, one of the highest damage perks, gives a 35% damage increase. It may not seem like it does a lot of damage on its own, but you can pair it with a special ammo burst DPS or dot damage weapon, like Izanagi's or Witherhorde, and it can do wonders. A weird interaction that I haven't noticed is that if you rally with reserves and during damage you don't have the reserve mods equipped, if you trigger 4 times the charm or trip it up, you can't get ammo refunded, so it will just reload ammo from reserves. The other precision frame option is Taipan 4 a weapon that probably everyone has in their arsenal. It does everything other precision frames can do, but better because it can be crafted and it's a vice origin weapon. It rolls with triple tap and for damage perks you can choose between Focused Fury, Frenzy and Firing Line. Frenzy gives a 15% damage increase, but you need to have it active before the damage phase starts. Focused Fury is a 20% damage increase after you score half the mag size as precision hits. In this case, 3 shots. In total damage, it doesn't do much better than Frenzy because of the 3 first shots fired at base damage. Firing Line is a fire team based perk, when active it provides a 20% precision damage increase. It's like Focused Fury, but 3 shots better I guess. Overall, Firing Line is the best option here, but in most cases, Frenzy will do just fine. I also included Sales Pie in the test as a reference point of a weapon that doesn't refund ammo during damage. That concludes the precision frames, so let's move to aggressives. Compared to precision frames, aggressive frames do more damage but are harder to control due to the recoil of their 3 burst shot. They excel in bosses with huge crit spots or as every other weapon a divinity bubble. The best pick here is Briar's Contempt. It has a variety of pair combinations with rewind rounds and frenzy, focused fury or surrounded as damage perks. Frenzy and focused fury have the same results as with Typhon earlier. The most interesting of them is certainly enhanced surrounded with a 47% damage buff. It needs some coordination and or setup to keep it active, but oh boy when you do. Its origin trait also provides additional damage against Hive Guardians and Tormentors. Ghosts of the Deep Dungeon bosses are considered Hive Guardians and Nezarek is considered to be a Tormentor. The other decent option is Fire and Forget from Season of the Seraph. While it doesn't have a good perk other than Field Prep, its Vice origin trait can do wonders when it comes to increasing its sustained fire capabilities. For damage perks, we can only find Frenzy and Focused Fury, which we have already covered. So let's sum it up. Unfortunately, there is not a clear winner, because there are downsides with every pick. You either pick Briars and you need to save Thrasads to activate Surrounded, with no ammo refund and hard recoil control, or something like Typhon with good overall damage and somewhat free ammo, or Cataclysmic combined with Isa or Witherhorde for a decent damage output and very good ammo economy. Personally, I use Taipan for everyday activities, like seasonal and stuff, and if I had to for boss damage, I would prefer to use Cataclysmic with Isa or Witherhorde. What is your pick? Do you actively use any of these weapons? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. When the rocket meta that we are currently in shifts with an if I had to guess nerf to Gallis wolf pack rounds, linears are gonna be ready to take the crown back. Anyways, it's time to wrap things up. If you haven't already, check out my machine gun and or trace rifle video damage test. I hope you enjoyed this one and learned something new from it. As always, thank you very much for watching and consider subscribing for more. Captain Zepos, out! Peace.